What's up, guys? It is Will here, back again, coming at you with another video. And unfortunately, we are here to cover some very unfortunate news this evening. Those who are planning on going to San Diego Comic-Con 2023 got some unfortunate bad news from Sideshow Collectibles, who will be officially not attending the con. So the first time I buy side uh, tickets for San Diego Comic-Con, Sideshow is not even going to be there. So no new hot toys will be shown at San Diego Comic-Con. No uh, statues that Sideshow normally shows. I've heard the Sideshow booth is one of the best parts of San Diego Comic-Con. However, I will not get to experience it, unfortunately. So a lot of people are very disappointed. This is very... I'm going to get into all of this, what this means, but this is very disappointing news. Before I get too far into what my opinion is on the subject, let's read the actual update that an admin gave in let your geek sideshow and guys i'm gonna actually uh make this full screen here so you can see a little bit better so just to recap here's what was said here as the annual convention season gears up in san diego pop culture titan sideshow is announcing a change in tradition unfortunately guys this change has been long going on but more on that later for the first time in over two decades sideshow will not be exhibiting at the san diego comic-con while bidding farewell to the familiar might surprise some, forging new trails to connect with fans has always been an integral part of Sideshow's mission. This evolution forms part of Sideshow's ongoing strategy to engage with the global, a growing global collector community by transitioning its unforgettable showcases to the digital realm. So the Sideshow CEO, Greg Anzalone, explains, For more than 20 years, Sideshow has reveled in the ever-evolving spectacle of SDCC. As we've transformed from a humble booth into a gallery-style showstopper, we've enjoyed sharing the magic of pop culture with fans at every event. But we've always dreamed of transcending the physical limitations of the convention, reaching out to a global audience hungry for more. As convention attendance prices and travel costs grow, accommodations become increasingly expensive and, and con passes become even harder to acquire. Large-scale conventions have become experiences only accessible to a small percentage of the fan base, unintentionally leaving a large portion of global pop culture enthusiasts undeserved, un, um, un, underserved underserved it's weird how that's spelled it looks like undeserved anyway Sideshow cmo robin salvagi added the recent past has seen our pop culture become the lead in global entertainment while physical conventions have become have been wonderful they've not been able to scale and appropriately serve the exponential growth in fandom during the pandemic we took the opportunity to experiment with uh, virtual programming and our collector's response was phenomenal we were able to control lighting, technology, sound quality, and setup, which created a richer presentation of a wider grouping of collectible art. By moving our content to a virtual platform, Sideshow will be able to present an even broader selection of brands, art, and unique product offerings while delivering an inclusive um, an inclusive experience to a global audience. Sideshow has been honored as a part of the history of San Diego Comic-Con as it has grown from a comic book focused event to a movie and pop culture fueled show. However, Sideshow now looks to concentrate its efforts on creating virtual experiences for its expanding global community of pop culture enthusiasts. Sideshow and its partners are set to deliver their largest online experience to date through the Sideshow Con event taking place July 18th through 21 of 2023. This event promises fans and collectors four days of high-quality content, first looks, product spotlights, special promos, unique contests, giveaways, and more. Collectors and fans can pre-register for Sideshow Con at the link below. Okay. So, guys, a um, lot to cover here. Uh, so, this is my first time going to San Diego Comic Con, right? I've been really excited about this. I'm excited just to go to San Diego. I will not be canceling my trip for this. I still want to go visit my friends in San Diego. I still want to go to San Diego Comic Con. There's going to be other companies there. However, I think for myself and for a lot of collectors out there, this puts a huge damper on things. It really does. Because one of the reasons that I really wanted to go was to see exclusive and new updates from Hot Toys and other related things that Sideshow would show, even meet some of the Sideshow employees, because I really like Sideshow. I like buying from them, right? They've always given me good customer service. I like them, right? So I wanted to meet them. I wanted to experience the booth that everyone has raved about for years. I wanted to see the new Hot Toys, even stuff that maybe is not new that I haven't seen in person before. I would love to see that, right? And it's very unfortunate that it comes out what we're about two months out from San Diego Comic Con, and a lot of people obviously to get your tickets, you had to have you bought your tickets pretty early in the process, and we're just now finding out that Sideshow is not going. How many people, how many collectors bought their tickets with the intent of really going mostly to see the Sideshow booth and other related things? And now Sideshow has suddenly decided to just announce this now, 
they had to have made this decision a long time ago. I can't imagine this was a, a spur of the moment decision. It doesn't seem very sideshow like to at the last minute pull out of the San Diego Comic Con. It seems very thoughtful in its decision, right? So this is very this is very disappointing for a lot of collectors. And you know, to run a con at the exact same time San Diego Comic Con is going, it it's 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 almost like I don't know. It's it's so disappointing as a collector who bought a ticket at San Diego Comic Con. And look, for most collectors, you probably weren't like if you weren't going to go to San Diego Comic Con, most people might not care, right? Because you get to see new stuff on sideshow. But for the people who did buy a San Diego Comic Con ticket based on precedent, it's just very disappointing. Because now you're going to San Diego and you almost feel like you have to be watching sideshows event because you want to see what they're going to do and what they're going to show. And I guess that's kind of the point. To me, I guess. I think this is very simple. I think it, it becomes, I think this is very much a cost thing. I think what it costs, it's got to be expensive to get all your employees there, set up the booth, reserve the space in general, uh, get your employees hotels, feed them, whatever. I think that's got to be obviously way more costly than it would be to hold an event on Sideshow premises or, or somewhere similar and just live stream it, right? It's got to be much simpler and cheaper to do it that way. So that's got to be what they're doing. This The writing probably was on the wall. Maybe we should have seen this because New York Comic Con, they didn't go. Other related things, they're not going to that stuff anymore. I think those days are probably done. I think we're starting to see a change in the guard for not just Sideshow, but a lot of these companies, even in video games like you know uh, E3 and stuff like that, you're starting to see similar type of things, right? Where these companies are like, well, I'm not going to do that. We're just going to live stream it and then we're just going to do our own thing or whatever, right? Or announce it whenever we want to. So I think cost is a huge factor. I mean, Sideshow, look, it's hard to project, right? I don't know if they're doing well, but I have a feeling, I, I've been speculating about this. I don't I have a feeling the collecting industry as a whole is not doing well right now. I think a lot of these companies are feeling it. I have nothing to base that off. It is based in speculation. But I'm just looking at the, the strategies that Sideshow has implemented in terms of waitlisting things and what other companies are doing as far as discounts. I don't think the industry is in a good spot right now as far as sales are concerned. I'm also seeing lower and lower edition sizes on some of these statues, and you're seeing higher prices, I feel like, to compensate that because they, they're selling less of them, so they have to sell them at a higher price to the people who do really want them, right? So I'm, I'm wondering if our collecting industry is just maybe not in a good, healthy state right now. And it could be due to the recession. It could be due to people losing interest. It could be due to uh, COVID sort of dying down and people getting back out there and starting to take interest in other hobbies or you know other, explore other things. So I don't know, but I'm starting to really wonder. Smaller batches, smaller edition sizes, uh, even prices from Hot Toys have gone down a little bit because maybe in their case, they're saying like, okay, maybe we need to get people back into collecting. So let's let maybe lower the price a little bit, lower the barrier to entry and get some more people. The statue companies, I guess, are not... Prime one, I feel like prices are just going up and the additions are getting lower. So I don't know what's going on there, but I don't, I don't know, guys. I think this is a very interesting um, spot we're in right now. I think this is just one of the dominoes falling. Sideshow is a pretty big domino to fall, but... At the end of the day, you know, I, I wish there was a little more notice for collectors who are going to San Diego Comic Con. For everyone else, yeah, you're going to experience sideshows, cool stuff at, at their own con. That's great. But you know, it used to be with these cons, they would give out rewards for signing up for these early. You get like ten dollars or something in rewards. They're not even doing that anymore. So uh, I think I think times are a little bit tight. I, I'm not saying sideshows are going to like go out of business tomorrow, but I'm saying that I think the collecting industry is probably not in a great spot financially. So um, it could just be any number of things, like I said, but I, I just feel like it's probably a multitude of factors, but the economy is probably not helping. People have less disposable income, probably, it, it, you know, it's a very tricky situation, but guys, I... Yeah, th this this is very much very disappointing. And for those of you that are going to San Diego Comic Con, I will be there Friday. So I planned on going. I got tickets for Friday and Saturday. I, the way I'm leaning right now is I'm probably just not even going to go Saturday. I'm probably going to be able to see everything I want to see Friday. Now that Sideshow Booth is not even going to be there, it's kind of like, what's the point of going two days? I can just go one and and that's it. And I'll probably just spend the other time in San Diego going to Frankenstein's or wherever else I want to go with friends, right? So. It's very unfortunate. I'm still going to get to experience San Diego Comic Con. I'm still really excited about going to San Diego and going to Comic Con, but this certainly puts a damper on things as a collector who mostly collects hot toys and other one six scale. So, um, yeah, it's it's you know 
for most people, like I said, they might not care, but it's disappointing. It's disappointing. And these Sideshow Cons, they're cool, right? They're cool, but I would love to have that experience in person. And how many collectors are they missing out on by not going to San Diego Comic Con? Because you're reaching a broader base. Like with Sideshow Con, you're pretty much just getting the diehard people who already follow your brand. Right. But what about San Diego Comic Con where you're introducing to people who don't know about Sideshow? Yes, they could be super geeks like us. Maybe they're not into collecting yet. Is anyone who's not in collecting going to go and watch Sideshow Con or even know that it exists? That's my point. Right. So it just seems like the maybe the, the accessibility of reaching a wider base is not quite there with Sideshow Con the way it would be with San Diego Comic Con. But I'm sure Sideshow has done their due diligence. Maybe it's just the cost. They're just like, you know what? It's just not worth it. Like, it's just too expensive to go and book the space and send everyone. And we're just not doing it. Um, times are tight and we're not going to, you know, uh, bankrupt ourselves. Um, I don't know, guys. This is a very, very interesting situation that we're in. But, um, yeah, it's it's very disappointing. It's so, so sucky, too, that they're running a con at the exact same time that San Diego is, basically. So it's, you know, yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think about this. I just had to make a video about it. it it's so hard to speculate why this is happening, but you know, I did pre-register for the sideshow con. There's no rewards to it. Look, we're never entitled to free things, but it just seems like a change because all their other events, they seem to pretty much give you free rewards for doing it. Now, suddenly they're not, again, we're not entitled to free stuff. So I get that, but it seems like a sudden change. So um, so it just makes me kind of speculate as to what's, what's going on here. And like you may have seen, they seem to be getting tighter and tighter with the code. So in terms of what you can actually use the code on, it's pretty much most of the time now only stuff that's in stock and sometimes stuff that's been in stock for a while. You're not really able to use most codes for pre-orders anymore. So for hot toys. So you used to be able to use a code for whatever you wanted mostly and not so much the case anymore. So they seem to be really wanting to harp on this in stock stuff um and even like you know they give the teachers and, and the military first responders a 15 percent discount but only things that are in stock and sometimes it's not everything in stock sometimes there's something that they just want to exclude uh, like chromando or something that they just don't want to give you 15 percent off so it's interesting and shipping prices seem to be going up and up and up for especially for statues bigger things but yeah i don't know uh, I guess you got to compensate for costs somehow, but this is a very interesting time and it does make me a little nervous about where collecting is right now. Um, and I really do want these companies to be successful and I want them to thrive because otherwise without that, we don't have collectibles, right? We don't have people to distribute collectibles. We don't have people to manufacture them. So it, it's it's um, a little concerning. It's a little concerning. I don't know how much we can take from this. I mean, it could just be we want to do our own thing, I don't, but it, it seems like it's it's more layered than that. So, guys, let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. Um, I'll definitely do my best to respond to them. And, yeah, I mean, I'm still excited to go. San Diego is still going to be fun, but uh, I, I think the Sideshow has disappointed a lot of collectors. But, hey, uh, you know, people, we can all be resistant to change sometimes. I get that. But at the same time, I feel like this would have been nice to know before everyone bought their tickets to Comic-Con. If Sideshow knew they were going to do this, why not announce it a little bit sooner before people booked their hotels and booked their flights and booked everything? Um, yeah, it's unfortunate. Anyway, guys, we'll see more of these Sideshow cons. I think this is going to be a regular thing. Lots of live streams and reveals and whatever. And I'm excited to see the reveals, you know, but... Yeah, a little unfortunate. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Peace out. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. See you later. Bye.